Hey friends, in this matplotlib tutorial, we are going to look into uh, axis labels, the legend and grid aspects of any 2D plot. I have a Jupyter notebook open here and I have imported matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And the second line is just the inline uh, magic so that the chart can be rendered fine. Now I am going to use some static data for my 2D plot. I have four different lists and this list represents weather data. So the first list is your weekdays, one to seven. The second list is the maximum temperatures that were recorded on these days. The third list is min temperature and the fourth one is the average temperature. Now, as you know, to plot a chart, you can just call plt.plot pass in your x-axis and y-axis. So let's say I am plotting a chart for my maximum temperature. I need to execute this. So then it will plot it this way. In the same chart, you can plot three different lines. So what you can do here is you can plot max, min and average temperature all in one chart. Now, when I look at this chart, the thing that is missing is, first of all, I don't know what this X axis and Y axis is, right? It's just set of numbers. So anyone looking at this graph will not have any idea that this is representing temperature and this is, this is your weekdays. To set the axis label, you can call X label method on your plot object and set your X label to be days, let's say. And you will see that now days will appear here. So the same thing you can do it for your Y axis, which is your temperature. And then you can use title function to set the title of your chart. So you can see I have a title here, Y axis label and X axis label. Okay, now my chart looks little better than what it was previously, but it is still not perfect because I'm looking at these three lines and I don't know what these line means. Like, I mean, I don't know what this green line is. Okay, so I need to have some legion here. So in order to have a legion, first thing you need to do is set a label on each of these uh, lines. Okay, so this one is let's say maximum temperature so i'm just going to call it max this plot is for minimum temperature so i'm going to call it min and this one is average when i run it the labels are still not showing up because i do not have my legion property uh, set so i can set my legion like this and you can see now legend appeared here. Sometimes you want to change the location of a legend. So there is a property called loc where you can say, okay, I want my legend to be in upper right corner. And that will move your legend here on the upper right corner. Okay. Uh, by default, uh, the property is set to be best. Best means the module matplotlib module will decide where to put the legion see here it recognized that there is some free space so that's why it put uh, the legion here let's say my numbers were a little different here and i had let's say 32 here so what will happen with that is now my data point got here so that's why legion is now smartly moved into this blank area so you can see that uh, this based is really intelligent. It tries to find the blank area and it will put the legend over there. You can also set a shadow property. And when you say shadow equal to true, it will create this kind of nice little shadow. If you check the uh, API for your legend, then you will find various properties. For example, for location, we had all these locations. We tried 
based we tried upper right but you can set legion into different areas of your chart then there are other properties such as font size so let's try this one so font size let's say i want my font size for the legion to be large when you do this you can see that these fonts are a little bit bigger now let me make it small so that you notice the difference so you see when you say small it's like really small okay so you can play with uh, different properties uh, that are available uh, it is pretty uh, fancy actually you can do a lot of things with your legion okay so based on your use case you can try out uh, these uh, various uh, capabilities that legion have another thing uh, that people are normally interested in when doing 2d plotting is grid so right now the canvas of this 2d plot is blank sometimes people want to have a grid so that they can uh, visualize the data points better for this there is a property called grid so plt dot grid and when you set that what is now happening is you are seeing this nice grid so that when you're looking at any data point you can see for example i'm looking at here i can ex i can use these grid lines to exactly figure out what that data point is right it is the temperature on my fifth day and the temperature was 40 degrees centigrade all right so that's all i had for this tutorial uh I will see you in next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.